After decades of speculation and investigation, Scientists have finally confirmed that the inner core of the moon is a solid ball with a density similar to that of iron. This discovery marks a significant milestone in our understanding of the moon's history and the evolution of the solar system. The findings of the research, conducted by a team led by astronomer Arthur Briaud of the French National Centre for Scientific Research, have been published in Nature. The composition of an object's interior in the solar system is effectively probed through seismic data. Scientists can create a detailed map of the interior of an object by analyzing the way in which acoustic waves generated by quakes move through and reflect from the material inside it. Lunar seismic data collected by the Apollo mission was too low in resolution to accurately determine the state of the inner core. However, Briaud and his team collected data from space missions and lunar laser ranging experiments to compile a profile of various lunar characteristics. These include the degree of its deformation by its gravitational interaction with Earth, the variation in its distance from Earth, and its density. The team made several interesting findings. Firstly, the models that most closely resembled what we know about the Moon describe active overturn deep inside the lunar mantle. This means that denser material inside the Moon falls towards the center, and less dense material rises upwards. The team's research adds another point in the foretally of evidence. Secondly, they found that the lunar core is very similar to that of Earth, with an outer fluid layer and a solid inner core. According to their modeling, the outer core has a radius of about 362 kilometers to 25 miles, and the inner core has a radius of about 258 kilometers 160 miles. That's about 15% of the entire radius of the moon. Lastly, the inner core has a density of about 7,822 kilograms per cubic meter, which is very close to the density of iron. These findings have significant implications for the Moon's evolution. We know that shortly after it formed, the Moon had a powerful magnetic field that began to decline about 3.2 billion years ago. Such a magnetic field is generated by motion and convection in the core. Therefore, the composition of the lunar core is deeply relevant to how and why the magnetic field disappeared. In 2011, a team led by NASA Marshall planetary scientist René Weber found a similar result using state-of-the-art seismological techniques on Apollo data to study the lunar core. Briaud and his team's results confirm those earlier findings and constitute a pretty strong case for an Earth-like lunar core. In conclusion, this research has revealed important information about the composition of the Moon's interior which will allow for a more accurate understanding of the Moon's history and the evolution of the solar system. With humanity's hope to return to the Moon in relatively short order, seismic verification of these findings may come soon. Thanks for watching.